All right, I welcome you, precious saints, wherever you may be listening, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I am Apostle Caleb Agwedeye, and I've started the series on the rapture glory. And today I want to bring a concept to us from the Word of God. Rapture glory is by faith. Rapture is by faith. We think that rapture is just something that happens by coincidence. Uh, because you are a Christian or because you're in a church, then you can just automatically partake of the rapture glory. No! Rapture glory is by faith. In Hebrews chapter 11, the chapter that talks about faith, verse 5, the Bible says, By faith, Enoch was taken away so that he did not see death and was not found because God had taken him. For before he was taken, he had this testimony that he pleased God. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. So Enoch was able to translate, was able to be caught up, was able to enter the rapture glory by faith, not just by coincidence. And the concept of faith is very simple. How do we walk by faith? You know, we walk by faith in getting healing. We walk by faith in getting even our salvation. Our salvation, our salvation of our soul came by faith in Romans chapter 10 and verse 9. Paul said, that you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For with the heart man believes unto righteousness and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. So faith is basically working by three things. Number one, faith works by the heart. With the heart man believes unto righteousness. Faith works by the mouth. With the mouth confession is made unto salvation. And faith works by hear. So three, hearing three things that makes your faith works or makes your faith alive number one your heart number two your mouth your confession and number three your hearing and you go to verse number um 17 of that same chapter it says so then faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of god so faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of god now the the third part of faith which is seen in second corinthians chapter number four and when you read verse number 12, uh, second to the 4, verse number 12 and 13, it says, let me read 13 straight away. And since we have the same spirit of faith according as it is written, I have believed and therefore I spoke, we also believe and therefore speak. So we also believe and therefore speak. So faith works by the heart, the ears, and the mouth speaking. Now, let's now see the scriptures that bring these three together in connection with rapture glory. In Revelation chapter number 22, verse 17, Revelation 22, verse 17 says, And the Spirit and the bride say, Come, let in that ear, remember, faith comes by hearing, let in that ear say, that we speak, come, and let in that is a test, testing is from the heart, come. It's talking about the rapture glory. He's talking about we coming to the glory. So these scriptures has opened the rapture glory to anybody in the world to access it by faith. By faith. Let him that hear say come. Let him that is untouched come into the rapture glory. We have been waiting for Christ to come. Now, heaven is waiting for us to come. And that's the mystery that God is opening your eyes to. Wherever it may be, I pray for you in the name of Jesus. The rapture glory we have been commissioned into. Let it come. Let it encounter you. Let the spirit of faith arise in you as you confess the Lord Jesus, as you confess the rapture glory and walk by faith like in, in Jesus' name. If you're in the city of Ibadan, join me in prayers every Friday, 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. in Mortality Feast and on Saturday, 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. God bless you. Don't miss the meeting. You will be transformed.